Okay folks, I'm just going to show you this uh, neat little product uh, that uh, is really handy for off-gooders or anybody uh, that I think will uh, save us all uh, some trouble in the winter time when we have to move stuff around. Now, uh, in the winter time, it can snow real heavy here. And uh, this year's been really mild. It's been beautiful sunny days, but still pretty cold. But it could dump a, a foot or two of snow on us in a heartbeat. So what I do in the winter times, I park my vehicles out here at the end of my lane. That way, if I do get snowed in, I only have to shovel out that far instead of having to shovel out my whole driveway. But then that makes a problem because then I got to haul all my stuff clear back there to the cabin. Okay. So what I uh, bought is uh, one of these sleds. Now this is made. This is called a Jet Sled Junior. And it's made by Sharpel, I think was the name. Let me check here again. Chappelle. It's made by Chappelle. I got that for about 20 bucks off Amazon with free shipping. Don't you love Amazon? This isn't it a great store, especially if you're off-grid. They just deliver it right to your door. Anyway, these are made out of the same material as they make those garbage cans out of. So they're really tough. Uh, and uh, they, they, they can take a lot of abuse. And they're actually designed for hauling wood or anything else that you need to. Uh, and they have runners on them. You want to get one that doesn't have a flat bottom. I'll show you the bottom of this if you can see it. These have runners on them, so they really stay up above the snow, so they don't dig down into the snow. And they really, you can haul a bunch of stuff in here. You can haul your wood, you can haul uh, your groceries, and what I use it for is I go get my propane tanks. You can see I've got three propane tanks there. Uh, those are the seven gallon ones, and they're too heavy for me to, to be carrying back and forth to the cabin all the time. That's a real arm and back breaker. So instead, I'll just put those here in this sled. Uh, and I got a bag of bird feed there too, because I'm gonna fill up my bird feeder. And uh, a lot of times I'll have a lot of groceries and stuff like that I might be bringing in. So I just pull the sled out here before I get in my vehicle. Then when I come to unload, I just throw everything in the sled and uh, just tow that back to the, the cabin. So that is a great product. Again, that's made by Chappelle. Uh, this one's called the uh, Jet Sled Junior. Uh, they make a larger model of this one, a little more expensive, but if you've got a lot of hot stuff to haul, you might need the bigger one. But this I can put in three bottles of propane plus some extra groceries on top of it and haul the whole thing back to the cabin. Toot sweet works really well. So I'm going to load it up here. I'll show you me sliding it. Okay, so you can see i got my three bottles of propane, a big old bag of bird feed, and a new bird feeder in there. And uh, these things just, they just move right along. Whoops, except my bird feeder fell out. Put that back on. I'm going to have to carry that. But these things uh, slide really well, even with a lot of weight. In fact, I found out they work better if you got some weight on them. And uh, this sure makes it easy to bring my propane back up to the cabin. So that's a product maybe you want to invest in, uh, especially if you have wood you need to haul in or other stuff. And you'll notice that it's dry here. No problem. It just glides right across the ground, too, if I get over the ice hump. These will even slide on the ground and slide on up my driveway there. So that's a good product. Look into getting you one of those. All right, have a good day. Okay, so this is my other little project that I'm gonna put up today. Uh, this is a little log cabin bird feeder. Uh, and I got this down at Ace Hardware because I had some coupons, because I buy a lot of stuff there. And uh, I got some coupons, so I actually got it for free. Normally it's $19. But I got it for free because I had these coupons. But anyway, I've used uh, homemade and even made my own bird feeders. But this was such a nice one. And since I got it for free, I figured ah, I'd get one because it kind of matches my cabin. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm hoping uh, this will encourage you to do is to put out a bird feeder, especially uh, over wintertime. Uh, because this time of year, it's so beautiful and so sunny. But it kind of gets the birds all active. And the birds are starting to come back now. It's January, end of January. They're going to start coming back for spring and uh, they won't have enough food and so they're going to really struggle because there's still a lot of snow on the ground and there's no seeds and nothing green here so they're going to start coming back and they're going to look at me with their little hungry eyes and make me feel all guilty because i don't have my bird feeder so every year i put my bird feeder out and then i get the double pleasure because then in the spring and summer i come out here i sit on my old rocking chair there and i watch the birds and they come out and the blue jays and the robins and all the birds come out and uh, say thank you for putting up a bird feeder so I encourage you, if you don't have a bird feeder, go get one. If you got one, fill it up with some seed. Big bag of seed like that back there is only like five bucks. That'll last for two, three months during the springtime. That's when they really need it the most. Uh, so get your bird feeders up. So I'm going to take this one out and I'll go hang it in a tree out here. Here we go. Okay, so there it is, hung in a tree. Uh, and I just used a little bungee cord uh, around it there. That way the weight of the birds will kind of bounce it around a little bit, but it won't tear it down. Some of those birds are pretty heavy. And so the big birds always make a mess. The little birds are nice and clean. 
big birds will get on there and they kick around looking for certain types of seeds they want to eat and so then they get seeds all down here on the ground but that's okay because then the other birds get down there that that don't like to land on bird feeders and they'll eat it off the ground so anyway uh, there's my little log cabin bird feeder I kind of like the looks of that it looks pretty good and the birds will find that real quick here in the next day or two I'll have birds swarming all over this area and maybe I can come out here and show you some of the birds that, that uh, come around my homestead so get your bird feeders up, people. Help out our uh, feathered friends and uh, give them a meal for winter.